This is everything you need to know about the salvage yard business in order to make millions. There are a total of 5 salvage yard locations. Let me show you which one you should choose. First, open up your phone, head over to Foreclosure Maze Bank and filter for salvage yards. The most expensive one is right over here at La Puerta for $2.7 million. I personally don't recommend going for this location as it isn't the best location for the missions. Instead, I'll go for one of these two. I prefer the strawberry location since it's easily accessible and makes the delivery missions pretty easy. I wouldn't recommend going for the locations all the way on the top. They are way cheaper for almost $1.5 million, but if you can, go for the other one. For the upgrades, as usual, you got the cosmetic upgrades, but the one we want to look at are the bottom four. The get trade rates is actually a pretty nice upgrade to have. What this upgrade does is when you destroyed one of your vehicles, you can Boom. call Morse Mutual Insurance, where you will receive a discount for the rest of your GTA career on the amount. When you, for example, destroyed your Oppressor Mark II, instead of paying $10,000, you will receive a 50% discount on this. If you don't have the money for it right now, now since it is 450k and it's not really needed for the business right now you can always get it later on but i highly recommend you to buy this as soon as you can then we got the tow truck both of the trucks are pretty similar one is just a bit slower the normal truck will cost you 1.1 million dollars and the tow truck be the 650k this isn't required for the business but i'll explain in a moment how you can use this truck to make some extra money then we can also have a wall safe in our salvage yard which is going to generate us money passively. If you don't get this upgrade, you will still have a safe in your business, but this only holds up to $100,000. If you do buy the safe, it will look like this, which also increases the amount it can hold to $250,000. This will cost you $750k to buy this. And lastly, the staff upgrade, which is going to help you with the salvage part, which is linked to the tow trucks and the sell option. Getting the staff will cost you 625k. Whether you should get this is something that I'll cover right after the main way of making money with this business, which is by selling the vehicle. The very first time you enter your salvage yard business, you will have an introduction scene with Hello Yusef, there. where he introduces you to the business and introduces you to his cousin Jamal. After that, you will see that Jamal has been added to your contacts and you will stand right in front of your computer. This computer will have the planning board for all the missions you need to do in order to steal the vehicles. What you will see when accessing the computer is in total 3 vehicles, but more importantly, in the top left corner, it will say targets vehicles to steal will change weekly. This means that once you've stolen one of the 3 cars, a new car will not show up. You will only be able to steal these 3 vehicles in the current week and on the next Thursday when a new weekly update is launched is when the car option refreshes where you can then steal three new vehicles again these are all the options for the cars you could get for the first time you can choose one of the cars without any setup cost it will be completely free after that the setup cost to start one of them will cost you twenty thousand dollars now when you start the steel mission you will see a planning board appear similar to the casino heist on the left side you will see the target which is the car you're going to steal below that the maximum value which is the value if you sell the car yourself without any damages and then the salvage value which is the value if you let your car be sold by a staff member the first step to start the steel mission is by doing a scope out. For each of the cars, the scope out mission will be slightly different, but they all follow the same structure. When you arrive at the location, you will see on your map icons marked with a camera icon. All you need to do for this is go to Snapmatic on your phone and take a picture of each interest point, which you will send to Jamal. All of the interest points also contain a blue arrow above it, so you know what to take a picture from. Not all the interest points are at one place, you may need to search above or below for the other ones. Be careful to not get too close to them as this will alert all the cops around you. In case this happens, the fastest way to lose the cops is simply by blowing oh. yourself up. After you've taken all the pictures, you can go back to your salvage yard. The scope out mission is pretty short, which will give you access now to the entire planning board. When you enter the computer again, you will see a full plan now. The left side we've already discussed. In the middle, we now see better pictures of the objects from the scope out mission. 
right below that you will see the planning work on the left side of it are the mandatory preps which must be completed and on the right side there's an optional prep mission these are missions which you can launch from the board which you'll be using later in the final heist in my opinion you can skip the optional one and just focus on the mandatory missions a tip when doing the missions if you're far away from your business you can set your spawn location to the business by going preferences and here choose self a chart now join a new session and you'll be right back at your business to start the next one now in the top right corner we have a new type of prep mission which we haven't seen before which are tasks here we also have mandatory tasks and an optional one but these tasks are not something which you can start from the planning board if we roam you will see multiple icons marked on your map saying robbery tasks when you go to one of them you will see it marked with a green area jamal will give you a call and explain to you exactly what you need to do for the specific task this can for example be a task where you have to collect the ammunition for this you need to get into a gun store pick up a a green bag and simply exit the store now go towards the police station and stash the weapon down here in some tasks you will also see a suspicion bar in the bottom right corner the longer you take for this mission the higher the suspicion bar will be so make sure to do it as fast as you can each steel mission will have a different amount of tasks the cars which are worth less money will also have less tasks to complete now when you've completed all the tasks and the planning work missions you can start the robbery before starting this on the top floor in your salvage yard you can equip snacks for free which you will definitely need for this mission first you will be using the vehicle you stole previously then you will need to complete certain tasks for the most expensive car you had to stun a cop throw gas into the ventilation units free a prisoner from his cell while he was doing unlimited push-ups and bring him back to his destination you will get the cops behind you in my case a four star wanted level but you can actually call in your sparrow and use that to lose the cops and bring it to his destination this does speed it up a lot more if you don't own the sparrow what you want to do is go towards this place where you will lose them as well now that you've brought the prisoner to his destination he will give you the location to the car that you wanted to steal you don't have to use the current vehicle you're in if you got a faster one like the oppressor i highly recommend you to use that one there will be multiple enemies in the area of the car so make sure to take them down first and then you can finally steal the car when driving back to the salvage yard it doesn't matter if you damage the vehicle a lot there's no repair cost so as long as the vehicle doesn't get destroyed you're good to go then a short scene will be played where you will see yusuf casually drinking a nine hundred thousand dollar tequila from the kaiprico heist and now you finally completed the robbery which can give you up to a fifty thousand dollar bonus if you completed the following points correctly keep in mind this is different for each mission but we didn't do all of this only for the bonus if you go to the vehicle which is inside your salvage yard you have the option to sell this vehicle or in some cases if the car was marked with this icon you can even choose to buy the vehicle for yourself the amazing thing is if you buy the vehicle it will only cost you twenty thousand dollars however if you only document forgery this will be even lower for only ten thousand dollars but if you don't want to own a vehicle you also have three options to sell this the first option is paying you the most amount which is to sell the car yourself the option salvage part pays you less money because if you choose this your staff member will use one of the places right over here to salvage the parts which uses up your space for the tow truck missions salvaging the parts will take 192 minutes without the staff upgrade and 144 minutes with the staff upgrade keep in mind you don't have to be online for this your staff members work on the vehicles also when you're offline and the sell multiple vehicles is only available if you're with friends since you can also store a total of four stolen vehicles inside your salvage yard so always choose to sell the car yourself and make sure to do this in a private lobby since you won't get extra money 
if you're doing this in a public one. Now the cell mission itself is really easy. You simply start the cell missions. No enemies will be spawning around you. Simply drive towards your destination. Do not forget to not crash since the more you damage your car, the lower the price will be. And finally deliver it to the destination to earn yourself the money. But this isn't the only way to earn money with this business. One of the business upgrades that I mentioned earlier was with the tow truck upgrade. With the tow truck, you can earn extra money which also lets you earn money passively with your safe. The way this works is as follows. Inside your salvage yard, you can enter the tow truck. Here you will see two options, one to respray the tow truck and one to launch the tow truck service. When you start in the service, a location will be marked on your map where you need to tow a vehicle. This vehicle will also be marked with a blue arrow above it. Make sure to stand right in front of the car and lower the hook all the way down until the car is attached to it. Then place the hook all the way up. You can do this while driving so it's better to do this instantly and simply deliver it back to your business. You might get the cops behind you but you won't be able to call Lester for this. The fastest thing that you can do is simply exiting the vehicle, take some distance from it and blow yourself up. Now the wanted level is removed and you can continue with the mission. If you have the staff upgrade, you can get a total of two vehicles with the tow truck, else it will be only one. Now when you've brought one car back to your business, it will take 48 minutes before your staff salvages the car, which will then add between 30 to 45 thousand dollars to your balance. But if you don't have the staff upgrade, this will take double the time. This isn't too much money which will earn, but remember that this also adds money into your safe. By default, your safe generates $250 dollars every 48 minutes without the staff upgrade and 300 with the upgrade but the more tow truck missions you do the more your daily income increases the salvage chart also has a popularity bar like the nightclub business but you won't see it so just imagine it for now the way this works is as following if you do one tow truck mission the popularity bar will fill up by 25 percent so in total doing four tow truck missions will have the popularity bar filled up all the way which gives you twenty four thousand dollars every 48 minutes with the staff upgrade and twenty thousand dollars without the staff upgrade however the popularity bar also decreases the first in-game day if you have the staff upgrade it will stay at 24k day 2 24k as well but at day 3 which equals to 144 minutes it will be reduced to $21,600 and the same thing keeps repeating itself so if you want to keep getting the maximum income make sure to do one tow truck mission before the third day starts here's a full overview of all the incomes but if you want to know more passive income methods that are in GTA online where you can earn up to even $150,000, check out this video where you get to know all of them.